Hey guys, so today I have a Valentine's Day party video and it's sort of like treats, decorations for a party because let's be real, nobody decorates their room for Valentine's Day. I have an ice cream bar, which is so delicious. It's the kind of thing like everybody loves ice cream, right? And if you have endless combinations, like it's sure to be a hit. So if you want to know how to make all this stuff, then keep watching the video. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so we're gonna start with the ice cream bar and all that really is to it is the sign and the actual ice cream. So we're gonna start with the sign. I printed out these letters from a blog. I'll put the link in the description box. But you can just print them all out and then hot glue them to cardstock paper. I had some cardstock paper that was kind of cardboard and some that was pink and white. So I just alternated which cardstock I used. Then using a clothes pin, you can attach each piece of cardstock to a piece of twine. And then you can just hang this up wherever you want to have your ice cream bar. So for the actual ice cream bar, I'm using mason jars just because they look pretty cute. Everything looks good in a mason jar, so I'm filling them up with a bunch of different toppings. I have chocolate chips, gummy bears, nerds, marshmallows, you can do whatever you like. And then I'm putting spoons in each of the mason jars and I'm writing down the name of the topping on each of them. And then you can set out any other toppings that you like, like whipped cream or chocolate syrup. My favorite is fresh fruit, so I'm cutting up some strawberries. And all of this is so delicious on ice cream. You have endless combinations that you can make. Well, not really endless, but there's a lot of them. So for this treat, I started by cutting four petals on the outside of the strawberry. So depending on the size of the strawberry, you can do four or five. After you cut the outside petals, you can cut another layer in. And then when you get to the top of the strawberry, you just cut two lines perpendicular to each other. So it's basically like four pieces of strawberry. And you can kind of freestyle this and just practice a little bit. and. They'll start to look like roses when you have a bunch of them, especially if you keep the little green part of the strawberry. And I just put them all on a bamboo skewer to make them stay up, and there you have it, a bouquet of strawberry roses. Now I'll show you guys some decorations that you can make for your Valentine's Day party. So starting off you're going to need a hot glue gun, some twine, and some heart shapes or 3D stickers. So start by hot gluing the heart shapes to the piece of twine. I glued about 10 of these to the piece of twine and then you have a string of decoration that you can hang up pretty much anywhere. Or you can wrap it around a mini Christmas tree if you have one of these from Christmas time. Why not? You can throw some lights on it and have the string. If you have stickers, you can just stick them straight onto the tree. So yeah, this is just a super easy decoration that you can do. You can also make these doily lights, which I saw on Pinterest, and they look really cool. You just hole punch them or you can fold them in half and use scissors and cut them and then you just put the light through the hole that you have and if you have a bigger heart then you can do two lights in the heart. And this is a decoration that you can put pretty much anywhere and it'll just look really cool. Okay, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Can we get this to 10,000 thumbs up? That would be really cool. And if you guys do any of this stuff, you should tweet it to me or Instagram it. I'll have like the link below to that. And if you're not subscribed already, then click the button. It's You can click right here to subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you soon. Okay, bye.